What's going on everybody, MC Murr here, and if you've been watching the show, you know that recently we've been taking a look at some of the new flashback models that have come out from At Games, including but not limited to the Flashback 9. Glad to finally have this thing in the collection. There's a lot of great games on this console for you to enjoy, and there's some new additions to the lineup this year that I was particularly excited for. But I'm also very excited about some of the upgrades that have come to this console. One in particular being the SD card slot edition. That's right, now you can stick an SD card in this thing, add ROMs to it, and rock out with all kind of Atari goodness. We're gonna take a look at how to do that today. You wanna make sure before you get started that you have no larger than a 16 gigabyte SD card. Before you start, it's important to note that At Games cannot provide fixes for unofficial firmware updates. So if you're concerned about your warranty on this thing, turn back now. There's instructions to get started with the update on the Atari Age forum, and I will provide a link to that in the description of this video. They tell you based on the steps here that you need to do the update before you add the ROMs to the SD card. So for the sake of argument, I just followed the instructions and did that first. You probably wanna do the same. If you've done this right, once you put in the SD card, this is what you'll be greeted with when you turn the system on. Hit the joystick to the left and tell it that you do want to go ahead with the update. When you do, you're gonna to get to this prompt-like screen with a lot of writing and letters, some of which said that my update failed, but it totally didn't, so if you see that, I guess I wouldn't sweat it too much. Not really sure on that. But you will see this circle and this loading bar at the bottom that never actually filled up. It gets almost, I guess, three quarters of the way there, and then it stops and goes back to the startup. You're going to be greeted with this option every time you turn this thing on from now on. You're just going to hit right to say no and bypass it to the menu. And now you're at the menu and you'll notice there's an SD card option at the bottom of the menu on the left. It'll be grayed out at first because you won't have added the ROMs yet. Now I have never done this with a plug and play system or any other system for that matter. Never added ROMs to something. It's something that I wanted to do right. I wanted to make sure that I had a good experience with it. So I called in an expert. Let's take a look. Hey, John here from Gen X Grown Up. In true Who Wants to Be an Atari Millionaire fashion, when MC Murr got stumped on how to get the uh, custom ROMs onto the At Games flashback, Dealy Bob, uh, he phoned a friend. And uh, fortunately, I was honored to be that friend. So let's dig in and show you how I helped Murr get those custom ROMs onto his At Games unit. Now all I had to do was refresh my memory of the steps I took when I did my review of the Atari Flashback Portable a few months ago. The first thing I did is head over to the Atari Age forums that I've got open here. Uh, and MC Murr will put a link down in the description of this video and you can find it as well. And you want to scroll down and you will find a link to uh, this full updated ROM set called Game.zip. Uh, you just want to download that guy. And once it's done, you're going to pop it open. Once that's open, you'll see this game folder, and then you're gonna to navigate to your SD card. I've got mine here on F. Take the contents of that game folder, throw it right into the root of your SD card, and that's it. Take that SD card out, throw it in your at games or your flashback, whatever you have, and uh, you should be able to see all those uh, bin files that are inside of this game folder. There they are, a thousand and one of them at the time that I downloaded. They're all in there. So that's it, back to MC Murr. So your ROMs will appear out to the right, and there will be a lot of them depending on which ROM set you used. Now it's important to note that there cannot be any spaces in the names of the ROMs, or they will not boot up. That's a serious issue there. It was not an issue on the portable unit, but it's an issue here. The first ROM set that we used had spaces in the name, so not many of the games worked. John used a batch file renaming utility for Windows called Advanced Renamer to quickly, in bulk, fix all the names to have no spaces on the SD card file. Then we were able to go back into the console with it and everything was just fine. I will have a link to the advanced renamer in the description of this video. If you've gotten this far, then you're ready to rock and roll, you're ready to have some fun, you're ready to enjoy a lot of content that was not originally on this console. You're gonna have a good time. You're going to play games such as Galaxian, 
Donkey Kong Jr. Berserk. Rampage. Pac-Man. Astro frickin' Smash. Xenophobe. And much, much more. So there you have it. A look at how to add ROMs to your Flashback 9. And I am so excited to have this done. I'm so pumped to explore everything on this console and just really get some great gameplay and going. I hope you liked what you saw here today and I hope that it shed some light on this, maybe answer some questions you might have had. And it's important to note once again that I'm going to include links to everything that we talked about in the description of this video. And I will also include a link to John's channel, Gen X Grown Up. If you haven't checked out Gen X Grown Up, you need to do so and subscribe, especially if you're an Atari fan. Gen X Grown Up covers all things Gen X, but they do a lot of great content on Atari stuff that is just near and dear to my heart and I'm a big fan of. So I urge you to check them out. Did you like what you saw here today? I hope that you like what you saw here today. I hope you liked this video. I hope you're gonna drop a like on this video. If you have not already done so, I hope that you're gonna subscribe to the MC Mer Show. Be a part of Mer Nation. We're rising up. All the fun stuff that we've got going on right here on the show, you need to be a part of. Fantastic stuff. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about what you saw here because you know that I love getting a conversation going with you right here on the MC Mer Show, something we do a lot of. Thank you so much for watching. MC Mer signing off for now. And I will see each and every one of you again next time.